Hello, how's it going? Welcome to this rainy unboxing video. It, it just started raining. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but sorry for background noise. <laughs> Today I have a Japan candy box. This box was very kindly sent to me by the guys at Japan Candy Box to do an unboxing. And I of course said yes, because if you know me, you know I love the heck out of Japan and especially their food. But they are also offering a giveaway to one of you guys. So if you like what's in this box, stay tuned to the end. You might be able to get one for your very self. And unfortunately, the post wasn't very kind to this box. It's got a, got a wee bit of a crater in it. But hopefully everything else inside is okay. So let's get into it with my cheaty paws. Actually, I'm curious. Um, let's do an iCard poll. Do you prefer cheaty paws or just like straight up hands? <laughs> Either way, I'll be doing cheaty paws today, but I'm curious as to what you guys prefer. Anyway, let's get in. I should have opened this beforehand. Buzz it. Struggles. Nah. Da 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 da. Ooh. Nice presentation off the bat. So we have a little card here, which I'm assuming might give away what's in it, so I'm not gonna look at that just yet. Uh, this booklet probably does that as well, so not looking, do not want spoilers. Hinyari, I think. I can read Japanese, but I'm a little rusty, so I may get the odd character wrong here and there, but I'm pretty sure that says Hinyari. Saido, and then a kanji I can't read. <laughs> I hate kanji! I'm not sure what Hinyari means. I'm assuming that's a flavor that I'm not aware of the translation, but that's kind of cool. It's got like a little toothpick in there and then some little um, ice cubes. Maybe it's supposed to be like, like fishing. That sounds fun. Yeah, this says Go. Goraku, my Japanese is way too rusty. <laughs> but either way, this looks like matcha? I'm not sure. <laughs> there's, like, there's like a little song down the bottom that says, uh, kanji kanji something no, cha 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 cha. Oh, I have to look at the book for that one. Yes, something melon flavored. Ja I love a Japanese melon flavor, seriously. Japanese melon needs to be like a standard in Australia. So it's like little, little melon cubes. Yeah. Meron. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it is little gummies. This is gummy. So little, little melon gummies. This is the other thing I really like about getting Japan boxes. I get to practice my Japanese. Ah oh, yes, it's a friend of Anpanman, a very famous character in Japan. And there's a little bit of English on it too. Oh, it's caramel corn. Cool, so it's like little biscuity, caramel corny things. Cool. I think there's a lot more in here than I expected. Like I wasn't quite much sure what to think with like the tiny box. Like some other um, Japan boxes I've gotten have been much bigger, but they've used this space really well. There's a lot in here. I hope there's another gummy thing in a in a, in a triangle. It's kind of like those uh, what you may call it, sunny sunny boys. Is that what they are? <laughs> it's like that for candy. Yeah, little, little little lemon gummies. What the heck is this? Botani potato. Okay, what flavor is it? Curry and. Oh god, that one's probably gonna be spicy. That's gonna be fun when I try it. Oh boy. I mean, it looks tasty, but now I'm terrified because it looks like it's gonna be spicy. Ooh, we have mini choco bar. Oh, okay, so I, I think that's a play on words because like, baba, I think it's like old lady. So it's like, little old chocolate lady. I think, I think is what they're going, but I could be totally wrong. <laughs> but that one looks tasty. It's like, looks like it's wafery on the inside. Could be wafery, could be cakey, but either way, I'm a fan. <laughs> long. <laughs> That's what it says. Reminds me of that Japanese commercial, you know, the long, long man. <laughs> long, long man. I mean, it looks like it's chocolate flavored. It's like, I, I'm feeling it in the packet, it's like almost spongy, so that'll be interesting. Ooh, these look like french fries. Oh god, and they also look spicy. <laughs> no, don't say the spicy stuff for in Japan. Uh, what? For smartphone, for active life, for game? How? What? One, oh, I see, okay. So you're supposed to be able to hold it in one hand. That's the gimmick. So then you can just do something else in your other hand, then give me like, ah. Oh. But there's still a fireball on it, and that terrifies me. Okay, yeah, you can see on the back. Yeah, it, it's literally what I described it as. <laughs> this is a picture of the dude doing what I just did. <laughs> and last but not least, ooh, it's like it's like mochi, it's like all squishy. Yeah, it's like little little gummy mochis. But that one looks like it's gonna be really tasty and will be fun texture-wise too. All right, so that's everything in the box. Now it is time to try them. 
Do I do the spicy ones first or last? <laughs> I don't want to do them at all. These will probably be my taste to get rid of her. So I guess we'll try these first. Oh, you can already smell it as soon as I've opened it. You know, it's a strong smell when you, I can smell it through my sleeve. <laughs> Ooh, it's like Pucho. Oh, they're like super duper squishy. That's fun. <laughs> All right, oh, down that. Oh, it's so melon. Oh, it's so good. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that was that was everything I hoped and dreamed. It's that it's that really nice, pure melon flavor. Like it's not overly sweet. It doesn't punch you in the face like some flavors like to do. Like it literally tastes like melon. All right, gonna keep those on hand because. We should probably try one of the spicy ones first. Uh, <laughs> or will it ruin the taste of the other ones? I don't know. <laughs> no, get over with it. All right, come on, the cards. You're gonna be brave. Ah, uh, yeah. If you don't already know, I have a ridiculous non-tolerance for spicy food. Like even pepper can be too much for me. There's been so many times people take me to like curry places and they're like, no, no, it's fine. They're not even spicy. And then I'm on the floor, dead. Smells like like pretzels, but uh, not quite as like. Baked. Do I do I do it the way I'm supposed? Yeah, I probably should, shouldn't I? Uh, uh. <laughs> it's not spicy. Yes. <laughs> well, not yet. Anyway, it might be a build. Okay, there's a there's an itty bitty tiny tingle at the end, so I think that would build up a lot should I eat the whole packet. But, um, no, that's really good. Like. Uh, I don't know if you've ever had french fries, the, the the chip version. It's like that, but less salty, like a lot less salty. It's got a bit more of a barbecue kind of flavor to it, and then a little bit of a bit of pepper to it, but... Oh yeah, that's building now. Yeah. Oh, yep, cool, done with that. <laughs> Melon, save me. Yep, oh god, it's building. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Melon! And water. <laughs> ah, mm. Alright. Let's try the other spicy one. The botani potato. It might not actually be spicy, I could be wrong. But the fact it says curry has me concerned. It smells like salad. <laughs> like, like, it smells like the croutons in salad, but with more of the salad to it. This, this could be wasabi. Uh, I could be about to be in a lot of world of hurt. Uh. <laughs> All right. Come on, Japan, please be merciful. Hmm, oh. that actually tastes pretty good. More like um, spring onion or uh, shallots or whatever place in the world they're called. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. I don't think it was spicy. It could also be a build because that's what wasabi does, but I think we're good. Okay, yeah, so it's basically, what is that flavor? I know that flavor. It's kind of like, you know, Italian herbs. But a bit more chivy, and then you've got the really nice light um, biscuit base to it. So yeah, so like the biscuit basically just fell apart. That was really nice. So yeah, botani potato. Well done. Thank you for not killing me. All right, let's try this one because I have no idea what it is. Do I look at what it is first or eat it first? Let's go eat it first and try and guess. It looks like like one of those little protein chocolates. If you know those, what's it smell like? Yeah, smells like chocolate. Okay. Ooh, solid. <laughs> Ooh, oh, it's tasty. I don't know what flavor that is though. <laughs> I think it's matcha. I can't taste too much among the chocolate. Like it's still a nice light chocolate, but it's like chocolate and then texture. Yeah. Book, book, tell me what it is. It is matcha. Okay, Black Thunder Matcha Adzuki. Packed with the classic Japanese flavors of matcha and adzuki red beans. This chocolate bar has a powerful taste with a fitting name. Each crunchy bite contains real sweet adzuki from Hokkaido. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Let's, let's read the others while we're here. So, we have the one hand energy. Get a pick me up with a spicy kick. The classic crispy karamucha chip pieces are made with caffeine and are easy to eat without dirtying your hands as you walk around at, at a Matsuri. Oh, it's good. How do you put caffeine in chips? I would be so on that if it wasn't spicy. Ugh. No, the melon ones, we have the Kabaya Pure and Natural Melon Gummies infused with real Japanese melon juice. These gummies have a super mouth-watering taste. Take the resealable pouch with you and snack on them as you watch a summer fireworks spectacle. And the Botani 
Oh, it's basil! That's what the flavor is! It's basil! Tiny basil and mayonnaise potato snacks. These potato stick snacks are extra crispy and have a deliciously fragrant flavor. God, say that five, say that five times quickly. Fra fragrant flavor. Blah, blah, blah. They are non-friend and made with natural ingredients including avocado and olive oils for a deliciously clean taste. Non-friend? I think that's supposed to be non-fried. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Botani Potato, but the book says that you're a non-friend. And I'm afraid our friendship must end here. I will seal you up and be rid of you. Do not come back to me. I'm sorry. All right, and the others I will read after I try them. Let's try the little lemon gummies. Oh, oh the little love hearts. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Ah. That is tasty. It's, it's lemon. <laughs> But it's a good level of lemon. Not too punchy, but not too subtle. Not bad. Oops, I just realized I've like opened all these before taking the close-up photos. My bad. Pure lemon gummies. Get in the mood for summer with the juicy taste of fresh lemons. This little pouch contains just the right amount of sweet and citrus to refresh you after walking around a hot matsuri. Right, I'll try these little mochi ones. These are good. I think I'll, I'll go with the grape one. Grape is... Fake grape is like one of my most favorite flavors ever. <laughs> Especially the Japanese version. Oh, they're not actually colored. They just have the color on the outside of the packet. So it looks like they color, but they're actually all white. Cool. Yeah. Ah. Oh, it's marshmallow. Could definitely use some more filling. I didn't get a whole lot of grape flavor out of that. <laughs> but the texture was fun. It was a nice marshmallow. And I totally forgot to read this one after trying it. So, mystery fruity marshmallows. An entertaining treat. Each pack comes with three marshmallows in one, two, or even three different sweet and sour flavors for you to discover. Will you get strawberry, orange, grape, or all three? So I didn't actually realize that the flavors were a mystery. I'm not entirely sure what flavor I got. It was just marshmallow. I, th I think it might've been strawberry because the filling was red, but yeah, no idea. The caramel corn. Ah, Ooh, it was like disintegrated in my mouth. It was very soft. Not really tasting any corn, more just caramel. But, like, a savoury caramel, you know, like salty caramel. No, that's pretty much what I expected. The texture is really nice and fun, though, so, yeah, tasty. Unpun Mun Caramel Corn. These puffed corn snacks with Unpun Mun packaging are like carnival food with a Japanese twist. Each piece has a melt-in-your-mouth sweetness with co the complemented with a satisfying crunch. Right, if you're wondering what Matsuri is, uh, that's the theme of this box at the moment, is Japanese Summer Festival, which is there. Matsuri. But it's weird for me because it's going for like, woo, summer vibes, and uh, we're in the middle of winter in Australia because, you know, Australia. So <laughs> let's go with the old lady choco. We'll see if I'm right in the book later. Yeah. Ugh. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> like, it, it's a dark chocolate, which I normally don't mind, but it's like really bitter, and then the biscuit kind of just tastes like sand. <laughs> Mmm, sand covered in bitterness, my favorite book. Tell me your secrets. Why is this terrible? So it's the Furuta Mini Choco Bar. This next name is a play on the similar sound of bar, as in like, you know, a chocolate bar, and bar, meaning granny in Japanese. I was correct! <laughs> the chocolate coated corn snack has the sweetness of treats you get at a grandma's house. There's no sweetness in that, you lie! Damn it, I need that still. Right, only two more things to go. I think I'll, fi I'll finish on the penguins because I reckon I'll like that one. This one, I have no idea. This key. Ah. <laughs> it's like a giant cocoa puff. <laughs> Not even joking. Maybe a bit more chocolatiness to it. But it has that same kind of like cereal texture. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. Not my favorite. I feel like I do need some milk though. There's the Ginbis Long Shimmy Choco Corn Star Stick. Ginbis' star-shaped snacks have joined together to make one long chocolatey treat. This corn puff snack is crunchy and coated in rich milk chocolate. Unwrap as you bite to keep your hand clean. Which is actually what I did. <laughs> yeah, in Japan it is quite popular to have these like long corn puff stick snacks. Like you can find claw machines just full of them. It's so fun and they're so cheap too. So they're a really good snack that you can find pretty much anywhere in so many different flavors. And last but not least, little penguins. Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> I like this. Okay, I want that one. Hmm, that's going pretty well. Ah. Uh, ooh, it's like actually cold. What? <laughs> but like not mint cold. Ooh, now it tastes like ramen. Yes, I'm hoping it would. 
By the way, if I see one comment being like, Pokari, it's pronounced Ramon, not Ramone. It's in, there's no way to make it pronounced Ramon the way it's spelt in Japanese. It is spelt with a rat, a moot, and a ne. Rat, moot, ne. Ramone. Okay? Yeah, so it gives you like a very slight, like, not quite a mint kick. I don't know how they're getting it to taste cold like that. But then you get like the nice lemonade-y kind of sweetness to it, but the Japanese ramenette kind of lemonade tastes specifically. I like talking about the toothpick, I feel very to the point. So that is the Penguin Cider Mochi Candy. The cider taste of festival ramenette meets traditional Japanese sweets in this little pack. I was right, it is ramenette. Eat each mochi piece with the included pick just like the treats found at a Matsuri food stall. And that is the Japan Candy Box. I actually really liked it. Like, Normally it's hard to theme a treat box without having it all just be the same flavor. Uh, Matsuri is a really good theme to go with because you've just got so much variety. So I'm um, interested to see what their next theme is. If you like the look of this Japan candy box, please do go check out the link in the description and enter the giveaway that they are doing. One lucky winner will receive their very own Japan candy box. I don't think it'll be this month or it'll be next month's one, but either way, it will still be pretty sweet. Look here on the back here, they've got like an entire community here with hashtags and stuff. So hey, if you win the box, be sure to put it on the old social media need the DVDs. So a big thank you again to Japan Candy Box for sending me a box and offering one to you guys as well. I think that is so nice of them. But of course, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll, I'll say goodbye in Japanese. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Sayonara! <laughs>